Chancellor's here. Silence, silence. Hopefully you're having a positive and productive day, people. Yes, hopefully you're having a positive and productive day worldwide. It's your man, Jay Petty, checking in. It's your man, Jay Petty, checking in for the Bag of Snacks podcast. Thank you. I appreciate you y'all bringing I still got my guest. We were talking about uh, mental health. Now we're going to talk to him on the segment called Ask a man. Ask a man. We want to get inside of his head, see how he thinks. So, what's going on, Dwayne? How you feeling, man? I'm feeling good. I see that you got a Donald Trump shirt on. What's that all yes. about? Just want everybody to know how, how much of a clown he is. He's a clown? Yes. Now, is he racist? Yes. He's racist. Why is he racist? Because he brought all these people out of the woodwork so that you know how they thought about the minorities. Ah. And the small percentage of people who are mm. not even 1% people. So now, ha, since Trump has been in office, all the real racists has came out. Correct. So it's kind of like the uh, the real Slim Shady. Would the real Slim Shady stand up? Correct. Mm. 80, 80 million of them. So you're against uh, all the... You're, you're for all the immigrants coming over here? Sure. So you want more people coming into America? Sure. Okay, good. I think that's a good thing. I mean, uh, Donald Trump does have some very divisive ways, and I don't like that about him. But I can't understand his businessman. I like his businessman. Now, what is a strong black woman? A strong black woman is a woman that's going to stand with you. Mm -hmm. Not behind you, but with you through the trials and tribulations that you're going through. Mm. Mm. Really? Now, what is a hard-working black man? Person, man who supports his family economically and emotionally. Why do black men date fat white girls? No idea. Mm. No experience. No experience with that. No. Huh. Now, if a woman wants you to pay for her dinner on a first date, is that prostitution? Uh, no, it's been a gentleman. Being a gentleman. Yes. Do nice guys finish last? A lot of times, yes. Do you consider eating ass nasty? It's not my cup of tea. Okay. Now, let's say you walk in a room, right? Right. And I, I understand, you know. Michelle Obama, Halle Berry, and Trina. Who are you kissing? Who are you fucking and who are you dismissing? Trina, Halle Berry, or Michelle Obama? Go! Um, kissing Michelle Obama. Mm hmm. Fucking Halle Berry. Mm hmm. And I don't know who Trina is. Trina, the rapper from Miami. The, uh, whoop, whoop, put over that ass too flat with Trick Daddy, Trick Daddy. Oh, no. Girl. Leave that totally alone. Leave that totally alone. Okay. So, do you like, I mean, when women are hot and spicy, meaning they have a lot of mouth, they talk bad, they kind of ratchet. Do you like those type of girls? No. Okay. Now, I got a dilemma. Can you, uh, can you help me out with this, right? Sure. I have a friend. And I went to go pick her up the other day from work. Mm -hmm. And she got in the car with another friend. Female or male? That's the catch. Uh, but I want to... She got in the car with a... Transgender. I didn't know they were transgender. I love transgenders, right? It's right. kind of like the black. My best friends are black. My best friends are transgender. And that wasn't a problem, right? Okay. So we dropped, we dropped uh, her off. We dropped her off. She off, right? And in the mental health field, we do have to... Can you break down that in the mental health field? Because in the mental health field, 
if someone's a transgender and they want to be, they want to go by she and they're male, you have to say that she's a she. Correct. Right? Yes. You can't pull a Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro, he was on this late night talk show and it was his transgender. He said, excuse me, sir, what do you identify as? And the transgender grabbed him by the neck. It was crazy as hell. But right. let me tell you about my friend, right? Because Valentine's Day is coming up. She called me, said, come get me, come get me. It's snowing. I go all the way up to the north side of Chicago, right? right. You get here. And I drop her off. She's a very attractive lady. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I never told her, but it, it's there. We're friends. It's there. You know, she she touches me and leaves her hand on me sometimes too long. And, right. I, you know, I think about, you know, I, I, I want to give it to her. I want to have sex with her. I, I, I want to, uh, I want to fuck her in the face, right? Right. But... She hasn't told me yay or nay. She hasn't told me yes or no. Do you think I should tell my friend that I want to have sex with her? Or is a friendship too important? I say stick to the friendship. Stick to the friendship. The but what her. if she wants to fuck me too? Well, that's different. Wait for her to bring it up. Hmm. Ah, I'll do that. So wait for her to bring it up. Correct. Okay. I hope she doesn't. Well, she doesn't know because I have a lot of friends. But I hope she doesn't watch this and kind of fuck Damn it! She knows now, because I told her about the transgender part. Right. Okay, my friend, this is a confession. Uh, you know, I've had some dreams of tasting you from the side, from the back. I wonder if you taste like peach pop or coconut or even chocolate yoo-hoo. But friend, let's, let's, let's go for it. On Valentine's Day, let's, let's just get it over with. Let's have sex. Friend, uh... So, in marriage, in marriage, right? Right. And sometimes, do you think that couples get, they get tired of each other? Um, I would say yes. I was married for 20 years. You married for 20 years? Okay. Yes. How do you feel about cheating? Um, I don't, I don't advise it. Right, right. Sometimes you do it. You do it? do it? How do you feel about interracial dating? Oh, no issues at all. Mm. Are black people cursed? I wouldn't say cursed, they're more um, scrutinized. Scrutinized? Because in the Bible, I don't know, I forget what tribe they say we are from in the Bible, but a lot of people are insinuating that because we're from a certain tribe that black people are cursed. Have you ever heard anything like that? Yes. Mary in the Bible. Mary. Uh -huh. Was she a prostitute? I'm not sure. Right, because they tried to allude and say that Mary, Jesus' mother, right? Uh -huh. Right? Joseph's wife. She's just a prostitute. And I don't I don't I didn't like that. I thought that was really mean. Correct. But they would say that about that good, good uh Christian woman, you know? How do you feel about the church? We got these pastors, they dress up like pimps, but they're taking all the money. And they're fucking everybody's wife. What do you think about that? That's terrible. Terrible, right? Right? And they're molesting our kids. And they're molesting kids, right? Yeah. Uh, I want to get some pastors to come on the show and basically tell us that's not what goes on, you know, but a lot of them have denied because they watch my stuff and they get scared. A lot of people are scared. You know, that's why I'm glad that you're here because mm -hmm. I ask the tough questions. I ask the tough questions, but uh, trust me, it, it's, it's all for the good. It's all for the good. I see you still got your waves in your head. That's one thing I remember about you. You always had the waves. So, um, let's, let's, let's talk about this. The girl who put the Gorilla Glue on her head, right? Tessica. And she raised over $13,000. What's your thoughts on that, man? She made a mistake. She made a mistake? Everybody makes a mistake. Right. I hope I'd never make that mistake with the, uh, what is it, Gorilla Glue? Yes. Gorilla Snot? Now, Valentine's Day is coming up. You prepared? Yes. Now, uh... What advice do you have for couples this Valentine's Day? What advice? For the lovers. Well, considering we're going through this pandemic, mm -hmm. you know, we've been around each other more than we normally are. Mm -hmm. Just try and be genuine and understanding and caring. Love on one another. Correct. Okay. Be patient. Oh, definitely patient and have a, as little stress as possible. I can't, I can't imagine. I mean, eh, I could, but now couples are with each other all day long, mm -hmm. right? So, 
she's going to get on your nerve and he's going to get on your nerve. How do you how do you get around that so that doesn't happen or that you can kind of make sure you guys are well? Well, fortunately, I have a big residence. Mm-hmm. So if she gets on my nerves, I just go to another room. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, in the mental health field, right, have you ever had a patient get mad at you because they wanted another snack, but they couldn't get another snack? Sure. They wanted some coffee. Couldn't get me any coffee. That's called food aggression, right? Correct. I was talking to somebody about that, I think, about a month and a half ago. And they, they didn't know it existed. I said, there's a such thing as food aggression. Mm-hmm. If a person can't have a certain type of food or a food... They get mad. They will fight you. They will hurt you. They will fall out. Yes. I saw a little kid. I, I want to say, was it an Enchanted Castle or Chuck E. Cheese? The mother wouldn't give the kid, poor kid, he wanted an extra slice of pizza, and the mother wouldn't give it, and he just started going nuts in mm. Enchanted Castle. I think it was Enchanted Castle or Chuck E. Cheese. So okay. food aggression is real. Yes. Suicidal thoughts is real. Uh, and that's why I always tell people, like, look, mental illness is a very important. Mental illness is very important. But... That's a cool shirt, man. I keep looking over at your Donald Trump shirt. That's a that's a cool, 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 cool thank shirt. You, thank you. But I want to, you know, because I know you, and I really respect you. So I, I want to definitely give you a gift for you and your lady for Valentine's Day from our sponsors, our sponsors over at Love on Him, Love on Her. Uh, the website is actually HighLoves.com. High loves, and they have these cool shirts. So I'm going to show you what our sponsors are giving to you guys, okay? Okay. So this is the Love on Him, Love on Her shirts. I got that. That was in the office waiting. Thank you. So hold that up so they can see that. Oh, and nice. it's front and back. It's for couples. Okay. Very nice. Okay, so... Just a gift for you and you, you and your lady, you know. Appreciate it. And also, this is for our other sponsor, Forex Drip. Forex Drip. Nice. So very nice. You can Thank take you. you can take these home, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. So we really appreciate you coming in here, man, and talking to us about mental health. Anytime. Anytime. We gotta have you back. Yes. We gotta have you back because I definitely want to talk to you about. Uh, you are you into Bitcoin? Yes. Okay. Talk to you about Bitcoin and Forex and things like that. Elon Musk. You see what he just did, right? Yes. Are you invested in Bitcoin? Yes. Good. Good. We got to talk. We got to have you back. But please, once again, if you're into mental health, mental health wellness, and you want to come on the show and talk about it and your experience, we basically are celebrating mental health workers, CNAs, doctors, nurses, everybody in the mental health field. So please come on the show and let us know that you are interested and that you really want to celebrate mental health wellness and its patients. Thank you. Thanks. Silence.